All right, so let's try some of this formatting out. We're going to begin out talking about the font formatting. So first off, I want to be able to get in here and I want to be able to format maybe specific words. And we're going to use some of the techniques that we discussed earlier about selecting text. So for example, I want to take this word powerful right here. I want to take that and I want to make it bold. I want to change its color. I want to do something to make that word stand out. Well, I'll just give it a double click. Remember that grabs a specific word, whatever word you're within. And now I can go up to my font section and I can begin formatting that word. So I come in here and say I want to make it bold. Shortcut key is control B, make something bold, and that's true of the majority of applications. I could change its font size. You got a little drop down where you could pick a number. And nice thing, ever since the 2010 release of Word, actually the Microsoft Office Suite, uh, you get live previews. All you do is just run your mouse over the top of it and you can see what happens in the background. So maybe I'll bump that up a little bit. We'll make it 12 points. Let's see, default was 11, so I just went up one. I'll give that a double click again. You also got these interactive buttons here where you can bump it up and lower it in font size. Uh, I could underline it. I could italicize it. I could change the font itself. Calibri is the default on my system, but maybe I'm going to switch it to chiller. Chiller. Make it chiller there. Look at that. Powerful. I'll change its color. I got the little lowercase a there. We'll make it red just to make, really make that pop. There we go. So again, just double click a word. Get up to your font section of the home tab then you can begin making some formatting changes well worth your time i just mentioned a couple of them there but if you're relatively new into getting to the font section you've got all sorts of stuff you can highlight it you can uh, superscript it or subscript it here you can strike it out that's a pretty common one if you got a document that's going through iterations you don't want to delete something because you want to keep it around for historical purposes but i'll just strike it out Right, I can come over here and say, hey, when you click on an online video, you can paste in the embed code. Oh, you know what? Maybe the embed code went away, but I want to keep this around. So I'll go strike it out. Just get that line inside there. Again, I can go through my document, click and drag. Maybe I'm going to grab this. Click the insert and choose the elements you want from different galleries. Okay, great. Maybe I want to italicize that to really emphasize it a little bit more. So I got my italicize button up there. Again, lots of stuff for you to take advantage of, but just font formatting. Select your words, but select specific text, whatever it is, and then go to town with formatting it. Right? Don't, don't go overboard. That probably goes without saying, but sometimes less is really more. Right? Don't go wacky with it, lots of different colors and so on, but just get a feel for formatting within your document. Now I'm going to mention one last scene here, then we'll wrap up this section. Uh, inside of some of these groups on your ribbon, there's a little button, lower right corner, little button there. It looks like a right angle with an arrow on it. If I give that a click, this will open up my font window where I can get a number of other commands as well. And perhaps an interface where they're all right there. I just want to throw out some key highlights inside of here. One of them is set as default. Love this feature. If you find that, oh, you know what, in my documents, I don't use Calibri, and my default font is an 11, I want to make it 12, or whatever, you can set your new default. So I come in here and say, I want to make the different font change, I want to bump up the font size, maybe I want to do this, that, and the other thing, and then I can say, set as default, and that will become my new default, my new font default. That's a great one if you work inside of a legal environment or work inside of an environment where you have a specific set of fonts and colors and such that you need to use. Set as a default and you've got it right there. But once again, worth your time, explore the window, see what else you can do. Download the file, it's called 05 Formatting Text and Words, another .docx, .docx file. Download it, open it up, and just format it. See what you get out of it. Select a couple words here and there. Do your double click. Do your control and click, click, click. Grab a bunch of words and format them all at the same time. But just get comfortable formatting inside of Microsoft Word.